Hey guys, Ajax22 here, and we're back with the Rusty Pickle. Um, haven't done much of anything since the chemical dip, so for this we're actually going to just try throwing it in the uh, vibratory tumbler and see what happens. I think there's a chance that some of it might actually knock loose, or at least um, buff the fog off the steel and see what it comes out looking like. Uh... You know, it came up as something to try, so we're going to try it. Um, going to let it run for uh, 12 hours and see if it uh, looks any different. Um, yeah, kind of curious. All right, back in a second. All right, we're back. It's been about 24 hours, maybe a little less. And um, it looks like it's taking a little bit of the frosting off of the metal. Um, not too aggressive, uh, doesn't seem to be knocking the, uh, scale off at all, but it wasn't really intended to, but it does look like it, uh, sorry about the focus, it does look like it's having an effect, and a positive one, so... I'm going to run it some more and see what happens. Yeah, I kind of like the way the finish is coming out. Um, you know, if this gun wasn't pitted, uh, dunking it in the evaporust and then just chucking it in the vibratory tumbler would have really uh, done a pretty good job of prepping the steel for any sort of plating or bluing. I mean... It uh, it's actually looking pretty good. Kind of surprised. Um, probably gonna have to smack it to free the bolt. I'm sure it's got absolutely jam packed with uh, media. But that's the nature of the beast. All right, I'm gonna chuck it in here, do another day, and then pull it out. Um, yeah, back in a flash. Hey guys, we're back, and uh, it's been a couple of days of having this thing kicking around in the vibratory medium, so, yeah. It's, uh comes out pretty packed with the uh, media. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, knock all this off, and then take it, throw it on a blanket, and do a uh, uh, little closer inspection. Be back in a sec. Alright, we're back and we're showing off what the after effect of running it through the uh, media is. It looks like a lot of the stuff that was just black um, or residue from the, uh, the wash I don't know if it's it's deeper pitting or if it's just more clearly uh, visible, but it definitely is showing the pitting rather intensely now. I mean, you're you're looking at this pretty much side by side with prior videos, so you can see you know how deep this is. It's, it's pretty impressive. It almost looks like it cleaned up some of the the oxides or just knocked them, polished them so that they had more surface exposed. It might be worth doing another another uh, chemical bath dip just to see what it does to some of these heavier deposits now that they've been knocked down a little bit. Um, I may just do a little bit of mechanical removal first. That looks like it'll just flake out. Flake off, sorry. Yeah, this thing's actually a little bit painful to grab to use the charging serrations. Uh, the ones that are left are not fun to grab. It doesn't cut you, but it's not terribly ergonomic. It's it's impressive. Getting it all free of the uh, 
the dust is going to take a little doing. The stuff has gotten into every nook and every cranny. If I had to do it over again, I would disassemble it prior to the uh, prior to putting it in the vibratory tumbler. But that's how you learn. Yeah, that black stuff I think will come out chemically. And it should leave behind pitting similar to similar to this. It's looking pretty good, I gotta say. Alright, so I'm gonna do um, another chemical bath, an inspection, a disassembly, and then we're gonna take it back to the vibratory tumbler to knock out more of the little black bits. Um, I may just knock this out because it's pretty far gone. I'm curious to see what it looks like under the underneath the site. It almost looks like there's corrosion under the dovetail. I'm not I'm not sure that I wanna I don't want to create an issue where I can't get another one in. There looks like enough meat there, even if it's gone pretty far. I should be able to just tap that out with a punch and a hammer and there should be plenty of dovetail left to put a new site on. I may weather the site to make it match but yeah this is just kind of impressive. I feel good about having put it through the the vibratory media. It uh, it seems to have dug out a little bit more of the pitting um, made it a lot more discernible. So, yeah, I like it. Um, I'm good with it. Anyway, I don't want to make this too terribly long. It's just fascinating for me to look at the actual caricature, caricature of the pitting. It's, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. All right, have a good one, guys. Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick little update. I took a uh, little pick and started scraping out some of the black. It looks like the uh, big flakes, you know, basically just pull right out, and then it leaves behind pretty decent holes in the metal. Um, I'm gonna go throw this back in the chemical bath and see if we can't make more of that go away. Uh, it seems to be breaking it up pretty good, just the uh, the combination of the chemical and the uh, vibratory tumbler. So, um, yeah, going to go do that. All right, now uh, have a good one uh, for real. <laughs>